Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video. We have some news stories to talk about today. So let's get started. So it's September again and we're expecting an Apple event in less than two weeks. Though the company hasn't announced any invitations yet. But when exactly will it happen? And what devices are gonna take the stage? Apple pushed back its return to office to January. So it's likely these events would be virtual. The company already held two virtual keynotes this year. The event in spring and the WWDC in June. Apple tends to hold its fall events on Tuesdays. Most rumors show that Apple is going to hold its iPhone 13 event on September 14th. These are the products that we're expecting. New improved iPhone 13 and 13 mini and also the 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max. All four iPhone 13 models will be the same size as the 12. Apple is planning to use the same general design with a 120Hz ProMotion display is expected, thank god. Most of the phones have that these days. So it's important. And of course camera improvements are important and are expected. But the iPhone 12 has already an amazing camera so I don't think there will be a big difference from that. Of course an A14, I mean a A15 updated chipset but the processing power will not be as big of a difference from the 12. And faster 5G. The iPhone 13 models will feature a smaller notch that's amazing. Like it's been 3 years since Apple has been using the same design at the front. And that will be one of the biggest upgrades I think. Battery life. Battery life improvements are coming and we don't know how big of an improvement it will be. New Apple Watch Series 7 is coming. We're expecting an updated design for the first time in several years. The new Apple Watch is expected to feature smaller bezels and a flat edge design that could be similar to the design on the iPhone 12. The new Apple Watch models will come in 41mm and 45mm size options. But no new health features are expected, though it will get a faster chip and some new wireless capabilities. Probably new AirPods 3 are coming. Apple is working on a new version of AirPods which are gonna look similar to the AirPods Pro but they will be more budget friendly. Means they won't have some features like active noise cancelling and some little changes here and there. The other products that we were expecting from this event are coming in November. Those are the new 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros and iPads. We'll talk more on that when they launch and who knows we might have secret announcements on this event. Let's move on to the next news story. The Perseverance rover successfully collects a code of a rock from Mars. Last month, Perseverance selected a rock and drilled down to collect a sample. At first, everything seemed to have gone perfectly. However, there was nothing in the sample tube when the team checked. One of the rover's primary objectives is to store the samples from the red planet in special tubes that can eventually make their way back to Earth. After the failed sample collection, NASA said that it appeared that the rock was softer than anticipated. Therefore, the sample was simply discarded rather than being collected in the drill bit as it was supposed to be. The second attempt appears to be have worked on Wednesday. First, Perseverance drilled another rock and beamed back images. Unlike last time, there's clearly a material inside where it's supposed to be. Isn't it so cool? We're living in a world now where drilling rocks on another planet is possible. Now let's move on to the next news story. A small launch company called Firefly recently launched its Alpha rocket which exploded mid-flight on Thursday night, minutes after a clean liftoff during its first attempt to reach space. The rocket was terminated. Firefly said it's working with regulators to investigate the cause of failure. Firefly mission was aiming to send a payload of tiny private satellites to space. The launch was risky. It was Firefly's first ever mission, so failure wasn't a big surprise. Two and a half minutes after liftoff, the rocket fell short of reaching its maximum aerodynamic pressure and began swinging to the side, tipping horizontally. At that point, the rocket exploded. Then the space launched Delta 30, stepping in 
to terminate the launch vehicle to prevent it from becoming hazardous to the public. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and see you in the next one.